Alright, welcome YouTubers to my version of uh, getting a Super Nintendo emulator. Alright, the first thing you want to do, get rid of that, is create a Super Nintendo emulator folder. Just waiting for it. Alright, new folder. Name it SNES, or just name it after the emulator, your choice. Alright, in that, create two folders SNES EMU for emulator short. Another one. Type in SNES games or just type in regular G A M E S or games. Alright. Emulator itself goes in here. Games go in here. Alright, get rid of that. Go back up. Down download Z S N E S. That's the best one here. Alright, if any of you guys have a PS2 out there, your headset also works on Windows. FYI. Alright, you want to choose the top one here because you don't want to make sure you want to make sure it's not broken or anything. Alright. Download. Save it. No. Come on, open up. No. Alright. Under SNES, as I said, under here, save. Waiting. Alright, it's done. Alright, open it back up. Alright, see this? You gotta extract the files in there, or else it w it won't work. Or it'll just keep saying, or else or else it'll just keep saying uh, this message every time you open the emulator itself, and it won't save anything. See, that's new. All right, whatever. All right, extract files. Next, browse. Next, this should only take a few seconds, depending on how many files are in there. Okay, it's done. Alright, as you can see, the zipped file will also be in here, just in case. Exit all of this, and then for your ROMs, you want to download Mozzarella Firefox, and you want to go to www.romcentral.com. R O M C E N T R A L, or just l just let spell check do the work. Alright, I already have this bookmarked. Go to home. And, uh, Mozarella Firefox has a lot of pop ups. You want to be careful about this. Just like this one down here. Don't click it. 
All right. Oh wait. Or just type in oldiegames.net or it depends on what game you you want to download. All right. For me, I like I like some of the classics like Super Mario All Stars and all that. All stars. Download. Download process is completely di different from Internet Explorer people. All right. Extract this file. Move it to your your SNES games. Next. Done. Alright, once it's done, exit everything. See, pop up. Alright, open it. Do this if you don't want ever, ever, if you don't want this thing to pop up ever again. This won't be here. Come on. Alright. Load. Okay. Back. Games. It, do it does people. Alright. You can configure whatever controller you want. Or you could just do all this. Yeah, once you hit whatever buttons A or B, it this thing go this thing goes away. All right, see ya.